So I thought I'd come explore the West Kowloon Cultural Arts District. Hey guys, so this was my third and last week in Hong Kong and this afternoon I went to go check out Halfway Coffee in Mong Kok. They've opened up a few cafes in Hong Kong and they all give a really retro vibe because they serve all their coffee in these vintage porcelain cups. After that I just browsed around Mong Kok. Back in the day I would always buy replica football jerseys here at the ladies market but the lady who I used to buy off she disappeared. I don't know if it's just me but I feel like in the 3 years that I haven't been back to Hong Kong it's gotten a lot less busy. A few days before this I went to Central to go check out this cafe called Cookie Department and they had this Pillsbury X Supreme cookie jar. Basically I saw it and I knew I needed to have it so I went to go buy one today. So one of the things that's been on my to-do list for the longest time is to go visit M+. The main reason I wanted to visit was the fact that the pictures that people take outside of it look so cool. Like the architecture looks so dope and the fact that they spent over six billion dollars building it. Like I need to see what they spent that money on. I have the afternoon off today so I thought I'd come explore the West Kowloon Cultural Arts District. I think that's what it's called. But basically, I'm here at M Plus right now and I'm gonna go in and check that out. And then if I have the time and before they close, I might go check out the Hong Kong Palace Museum too. So let's go. I came here to see one thing and it's here. Chanel XCCP collab. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted to buy this cup. <laughs> wow! So I was thought I couldn't record in here, so I don't have a tripod right now. But let's see how it goes, because I'm holding my camera really awkwardly.
I'm really craving cake right now. Oh shit. So I think I'm gonna cross the harbour and go to the Hong Kong side. There's this cake shop that I really want to try out. They're open till 8. I don't know if I have time in the next few days to go because I'm leaving. Also, I would say that the Palace Museum here is... How would you put this? If you're in Hong Kong and you can't go to Beijing, then it's a good option. Otherwise, it's a lot smaller and the stuff they have is not the same and they actually have a lot of replicas. Yeah, a lot of A4. So when I was leaving, I walked past the Philips Auction House Asia headquarters and yo, the stuff they have is so much more dope. So I'm about to go to another cafe, and I know I've been to a lot of cafes in Hong Kong, but I promise you on the days that I didn't film, I was eating at Tartan Tans. Also, I didn't realise I had four strands of hair poking out of my hat, so I apologise for that. It's not bad, but I don't think it's worth the hype. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the milk it has like bubbles, so if you pop it, it pops. I'd say that's pretty cool, otherwise it's a pretty average coffee. Bakehouse is without a doubt the most hyped up bakery in Hong Kong, but I can see why, because the stuff isn't really expensive, but then again the stuff isn't actually mind-blowingly good. I feel like on the Hong Kong Island side, there's a lot more bakeries, like patisseries and boulangeries. If I bought a croissant from each bakery I walked past today, it would last me over a week right now. There's also a lot of cafes here, and I want to try all their coffees, except I feel like coffee in Hong Kong is very flat. It doesn't taste very strong. So I was at Pacific Place to look for sneakers, but the store only stocked it online, so I guess they were just trying to help me save money. I kind of forgot to vlog the last few days in Hong Kong, but here's just a dump of all the pics that I took. If you're hungry, you may want to skip this part because basically there's a lot of food pics. But other than that, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, that's all. Bye!